Uh, let's turn our attention to India's Kashmir now. Two uh, minor students were injured in uh, the Shopian district today, not because uh, they got into a scuffle or a rough and tumble or had an altercation with seniors at school, but because their school bus came under attack from stone pelters. The incident once again puts the perpetrators and their agenda in the spotlight and asks the question, is there double speak at play? Here's why. Broken glasses, shattered windows and a school bus under attack. The school trip was never meant to be so traumatic for the 50 children on board, two of whom were injured. The bus belonged to one Rainbow International School. Police is on a lookout for the culprits. The parents of the injured school kid were at pains explaining what had just happened to their son. तो स्कूल बस जा रही थी जोरा के आसपास क्योंकि मैं वहां पे नहीं था खुद मैं हॉस्पिटल बाद में पहुंचा हूं तो वहां क्या कहते हैं कि पथराव हुआ है तो उसी पथराव के जदमी मेरा बच्चा भी आ गया और उसको जो है पत्थर सर में लगा है वेडनेसडे शोपियन अटैक इज अ चिलिंग रिमाइंडर ऑफ द अल्टीरियर मोटिव्स ऑफ द स्टोन पेल्टर्स एंड हाउ दे आर रेडी टू स्टूप टू द लोएस्ट पुलिस अथॉरिटीज एंड द पॉलिटिकल फ्रेटर्निटी हैव एक्सप्रेस्ड शॉक एंड एंगर एंड प्रॉमिस्ड अ स्विफ्ट प्रोब अगल बगल के गांव के बच्चों को लेकर स्कूल की तरफ जा रही थी तब यहां कुछ स्टोन पेल्टर्स कुछ मिसक्रिएंट्स उन्होंने इसको घेरा है और इस पे स्टोन पेल्टिंग की है इसके जो शीशे थे वो बच्चों ने खोल रखे थे सारे स्टोन्स अंदर गए बच्चे बड़े मुश्किल से बचे हैं लेकिन एक बच्चे को ज्यादा ग्रीवियस इंजरी हो गई है जम्मू एंड कश्मीर चीफ मिनिस्टर महबूबा मुफ्ती ट्वीटेड एंड आई कोट शॉक्ड एंड एंगर्ड टू हियर ऑफ द अटैक ऑन अ स्कूल बस इन शोपियां the perpetrators of this senseless and cowardly act will be brought to justice national conference leader and former chief minister omar abdullah slammed the incident he tweeted and i quote again how does pelting stones on school children or tourist buses help advance the agenda of these stone pelters these attacks deserve our unequivocal condemnation and this tweet is mine unquote this and several other incidents come at a time when the Jammu and Kashmir government has approved withdrawal of cases against nearly 10,000 people involved in stone pelting. New Delhi has regularly asserted that Pakistan funds terror in India, especially in Kashmir. Repeated attacks like the one in Shopian only reiterate the fact that there is money involved and for it, the stone pelters do not even care who they are targeting. Your report, Vion.